Hey guys, Dark Cyclone FPV, and we have an upgrade to do on this one. This is an HDLRC Sector uh, 5, I believe, V3. And this gentleman has asked if he can please take this up to have the DJI uh, air unit in it. So we're going to go ahead and see. He says he's had a problem with the DTX. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and, and review his request. Okay, so here it is. Uh, uh, would like to have DJI air unit module added. At a TPU mount that fits the HRC M80 Pro, it's provided. Forgot to mention that one of the motors had a rubbing sound when flying. I'm not sure if there's something okay. Please check. Did not seem. Uh, I tried to use the computer canned air. Okay, the computer. Oh yeah, the canned air. Okay. All right. So we got a few things to do on this one. Let's just go ahead and open the box up and see how we want to tackle this. Okay. So first things first. All right. Okay. Right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and take those off right off the bat. Let's go ahead and remove these. First thing I will do is check the this air. I mean, the motor rubbing sound. It is kind of concerning. So let's see if we find something with that. We'll take his props and put them away. We don't need them. Let's go ahead and get these off. Okay. Cool thing is, is that this setup is very much like the Avenger V3 or the Avenger. No, what is it? Isn't that the Avenger bag? Isn't that the one that TCM makes that we did? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so what, what most likely would happen here, well, actually, let's just check the, um, the, the thing about the motor. It's not like it's rubbing, so let's check that first. Whoops. Let's go ahead and disconnect the VTX. I don't want that to disrupt our, our feed here, so let's go ahead and do that. There we go. VTX is disabled. Now, that's it. Flight. Okay, let's connect. Let's go run our motors. See if we hear anything. Right? Motor one. Nope, motor two. Yep, motor three. Motor four. So I think in motor two is when he's sound. It does have a dampened sound, uh, but it doesn't feel like there's any resistance on it. Um, it does actually it does feel like there may be a little bit of debris, but um, if I was to run these. I'm not seeing anything that really stands out. I'm not going to worry about it right now. So let's get started on the rest of the show. First things first. Oops, what the heck was that? Oh, I got that. That was back up there. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this monster. Um, yeah, I'm going to this. I don't like taking this frame open. Opening this frame.
Okay. Put those aside. See what we're going to take this off. Set that right there. Clean up that. Throw those out. And put this back. Now. Uh, ooh. All right. So let's go ahead and turn on our soldering machine. Get my Magoo goggles ready. Well, let's see what we're going to Ooh. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. What happened here? Okay. That's a, not a good soldering work. That's not good. All right. So let's get the microscope here. And again, not to... You know, you know, I think everybody should try it. Just be prepared. I mean, I screwed up enough things when I was trying to learn how to solder. My wife will vouch for that. She was mad at me. So this is what I'm talking about. But this is a serious concern here, guys. Um, that. That. That is not good. That's no bueno. Okay? No bueno, no bueno at all. So we're going to clean that up real quick. All right, but just giving you a heads up, that, that cannot, uh, that is not, no, well. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and clean that up. First thing we're going to do is just take that off entirely. Uh, and we'll take this one off as well. And let's just try to clean the board up a little bit. Uh, let's get the flux pen. Put it on the board. Try to clean up what we can. So let's first... Don't think. Even though it's the same pad, I don't like to see any bridge connections, so don't do it, please. Toothbrush you brought me. Any idea where I put it? I don't see it. Uh, no, but I need to know. Can I have another one, please? Yeah. I'm sorry, babe. I don't know where I put the last one. That's quite Okay. So while she's going to get that, I'm going to go ahead and cut this zip tie. Because we're getting rid of the VTX anyway since we're adding an air unit. So I might as well go ahead and get rid of this. And get rid of this nonsense, too. Yay, the nonsense is getting removed. All right.
Thanks, Mama. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. All right, so we're gonna just do a little little wash here. Yeah. You're brushing your teeth, but not really. <sighs> Hey, um, is this really going to work? I need to verify on this board real quick. I didn't think that this was the board, but I need to I see a plug. I just want to make sure it's the right one. So let me pull this off real quick and see. One. Four. I want to look at at the bottom or the other side of this board. Tell me if that. Yep, that's what I wanted. So neat. So this board already has the setup for it. Hey, babe, you said we have Sector 5 V3 frames, right? Yes. Can you, can you tell me if any of those Sector 5 V3 frames, can you open a box and tell me if it has the HTLRC, um, uh, I mean the uh, DJI mounts? Because this, he, the gentleman who bought this from DJI, I mean from HTLRC, he bought the DJI version. Yeah. So it's got the plug already on it, so I'm thinking that just you need me to look at the frame or you no know? i just want you to see if they put the tpu parts inside if it came with any tpu yes it comes with all the tpu good can i see it please mm -hmm. i'm surprised he doesn't have that in his box but let's do that what color is it oh i'm sorry i was seeing all these tpu parts looks like it's got this piece is that what you're asking for the area yeah can you see if that box right there to my left has that too? Please, sorry. Um, I don't see it. Okay, so I'll take that one then. Let me have that one. Okay. And I'll I'll uh, come up with something new for the What? Oh I know. I'm not the fan of them, but yeah, they are pretty cool. Alright. You just need these two pieces or are there other pieces you need? Uh I think just leave the bag and let me look at it all. Okay. Because I need to know what I'm gonna be taking out. Thank you so much. You are my friend. And my wife, obviously. You're my wife, too. No denying that. You mean anything else? Why? You're not done working. No, I am. Well, you sound like you're done working. No. No, no that's it. Where are you going? I'm not going anywhere. Woman, I know that tone. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Uh... I'm going to get this gentleman's stuff done. Okay, so that's there, and I know that I just saw, you know I have it too. Cable. So let's look at the mounts that they give us here. HLRC offers the following. This mount. Over here.
Yo. Um, someone asked on the quadrilateral four beats or too many, is there enough beef left to cut AIO loop style mountains? Respond back if he's asking for twenty five. Is he asking for twenty five by twenty five? the one I told you I'm waiting for it. yes it's done I just want to see how much that part costs okay. um, uh, but you can go ahead I would probably just put it down for um, uh, I think 45 in labor okay. and 20 for the part Just put it, uh, just call it an 18650 replacement. Uh, 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 18650 battery uh, re replacement, uh, what do you call it? A container. Uh, just use that, that'll be fine. Everyone has had their stuff sent over, so now I'm just waiting for things to be paid. Uh, okay. 
So that's good, huh? Yes, sir. Nice of work, good, nice of work. Antennas are in, air unit is in, everything is in, wiring can be done, receiver is in. I don't believe that that's going to be too tight on the receiver. Nope, looks good. We're all set. So now, I think my meter's messed up. Uh, let's go back to the ever faithful regular ones.
So it looks like what we're going to do, we're going to put a voltage regulator. And we're going to regulate the voltage to here. So um, this part will be fine, but we need to regulate the voltage. And if I'm not mistaken, this would be a great fit for this one. Have to check. All right. So we'll stop here for now because I promised my wife we would go to the gym. And we're going to head to the gym for a little bit, so I will be back, and we'll finish this job shortly. And I will see you guys soon, but this looks like it's going to be done pretty quickly. Put a voltage regulator to the battery, get that. Uh, capacitors, everything's all set there, I think. So we should be good to be able to put this down and get this thing back up in the air pretty quickly. And all we got to do then is connect the GPS. And I'm not going to plug this in because I prefer to hardwire anyway. So we'll be back in a few, guys. Talk to you in just a little bit. Peace. All right, guys, so we're back right now. Uh, actually, I took a day to – I'm coming back a day later. Um, and uh, so I'm working on, let me get you back to the screen here. So here's where we're at. We're getting ready to hook up the uh, DJI uh, air unit. And at the same time, I am getting ready to wire up the, uh, the uh, uh, regulator here, the step down regulator or converter, whatever it may be, whatever you like to call it. But anyways, it's going to be stepping down uh, or it's going to be limiting it basically to 12 volts max. So um, we're going to go ahead and get that ready to set up. So let me go ahead and put my Madrid glasses on. We're going to be using the JHEMCU. Uh, regulator and I cannot find my glasses. So give me one second. Uh, I'm sure they're right around here, but I need to look. So where the heck? Oh, there's my coffee. That's good enough for starters. Oh, here they are. Okay, they're right behind. Me. All right. So let's go ahead and get this done. All right. And so what we're going to do it is we're going to come into our our uh, battery right here. Let me go ahead and get our flux pen. Get this tinned up. Okay. And let me get some solder going. Okay, and we will borrow our ground from here. Make sure that that's clean, and it is. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and Start soldering these in, in place. Okay. Before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. Make sure that we have our air unit starting up without any issues. I do not show any power coming just yet, so let me see what we are uh, missing here. All right, let's turn this off and find out. Uh, oh, never mind, that's on me. Hold on a second, my apologies. Go ahead and get it here. Yes. There we go. Now let's try. There we go. So we have power up. We're good there. Our regulator's on. You can see the light's on, so we're going to keep that going. And now what we're going to do is connect the rest of the wires, okay? So let's go ahead. Uh, for that, I've got the DJI book right here, so we can go ahead and look at these. If you don't know these instructions, then I'll go ahead. You can follow along with me if this is what you're doing. So we've got our red and our black. That's fine. We also have another ground that's going to be going, but let's go to our white. Our white is going to go to our TX, so we're going to use TX UART 4. So we're going to use T4 that's right here. So I'm just going to go ahead, pull this white one. Let me go ahead and tin up the UART here. There we go. Okay. We'll take the white wire, which is the 
RX from the air unit. Oh, let me go ahead and just pull it out a little bit. Let's go ahead and put that on the UART 4 TX right here. There we go. And then as you can see here, it says take the gray, which is the TX from the air unit, and put it to the RX. So we're going to go to the R4 of the UART 4. So let's go ahead and do that right here. Okay. Now, uh, the customer is using TBS, uh, so the brown will remain, but the yellow right here will not be connecting uh, for SBUS. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to cut the wire or get rid of it. I'm, I am going to cut the exposed um, strands off right there. And then what I'll do is I'll just wrap it under just like that and get a piece of heat shrink. Something like this yellow one here just kind of fold it under and then make sure this covers the exposed section leaving just a loop there to look at just like that let's go ahead and shrink that down just pinch that so it's closed there you go all right so that's done We'll take the brown and send it to another ground. And so for this ground, uh, you know, you can use it pretty much anywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and, and borrow a ground, I guess, from here. It really doesn't matter at this point. Um, so let me just, I'll actually try to find something that's close. Matter of fact, I could probably go right behind uh, what I just did because there's another pad right there. So let me go ahead and just tin this wire up real quickly so that it'll solder quick. I do not want to do this over the board, so I'm just going to kind of lean it here. Uh, if I can, and I'll just take this out and I'll just put it just like that. All right, so wire's tinned. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disconnect this. And I'm just going to come in here and drop this right here. There we go. Now we've got them both ground. Okay, so that's done. So as far as this goes, we are finished with the air unit. So the only thing left at this point... I can bring this back just a little bit, or I can bring it forward actually and put it right here. There's really no uh, no harm in doing that either way, so I'll just put this like this and leave it right in that area. I may even zip tie it just there just to keep it nice and organized, but there should be no issues. It's got enough room to even come up front. So let me just, uh, let me just kind of get it situated for now, and then I'll probably just zip tie this later. I don't want to do anything while I'm still trying to figure out the camera. It's gonna have enough room. All right, so the only other thing left that we have to do is we have the GPS here. Now this is the old GPS uh, that I think broke uh, during flight and then uh, during crash. And then this is the new one. And so let's go ahead and look at this HGLRC GPS real quickly and see our wiring diagram here. So on this HGLRC, uh, let me see. This is the M80 Pro. Uh, so. I feel like they've left something out on this one. So let me go and get the wiring harness that came with it. Which is... That may have been... Nope, 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 here it is, here it is right here. Okay, so it's not going to be wired like the M80. Um, and so what we're going to look here is, uh, let's see, there are voltage our ground so let's go ahead and get this wired up properly and we're gonna have to replace some of these wires here um, so let me go ahead and plug this in make sure that we got our wires properly done and this so as you can see based on the pins now here's where we're gonna actually end up soldering to and I don't know let me show you uh, what we're looking at here so we're gonna end up soldering to I'll have to zoom in and then move the board but you see these little pins these little right here um, let me set it smaller to point with so it's one these right here this is what we're going to solder our wires to and we're going to hope for the best okay so we're going to do it in that order so we have uh let's see we have SCACL, uh, and then we got five volt ground so forth. okay so let's go ahead and give it a shot here we go so let's zoom out yay the fun never ends okay i'm going to turn this board this way since i'm right-handed i'm going to go ahead and prep this up then put my Nerd Magoo goggles on. 
All right. And I'm going to get the wiring right here. Man, I can't see this. I swear to God, I'm just going blind. I apologize, guys. I used to be able to see. Now I can't. Uh, I still can't see. It makes me so bad. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take it, we're gonna cut this wire. I'm gonna leave pretty much a good amount of play here. All right, so let's do that. All right, now we're gonna strip these and tin them and get them ready. This is not gonna be any fun, but hey, it's a whole lot of fun. Here we go. zoomed up all into this. Okay. There's one. And at this point, I'm not really worried about how much I strip off. I may even go five mil if I want to, because I want to twist these really tight because I have very small space and there's very little room for error here. So any strands or anything like that. So you want to be able to, you want to strip off a little bit more than normal, just so you can get a good grip on this thing and twist it and make these strands real, real, real tight before you um, tin them up, right? So here's what we're gonna do. First step, get your um, flux pen and just go ahead and start painting it over these. Okay, just like that. All right, just like that, there you go. Once you've got your flux on there, just go ahead and grab them and just spin the silicone portion, okay? That's it, just spin the silicone portion so it's super tight, there you go. It's one wire, go to the next one, spin that one, there you go. There you go. No, two are left. I think the green and the white are the only ones left. Let's go ahead and spin these out. Actually, white looks done to the green. And then let's make sure everything's done. And the red. I need to do the red. Okay, there we go. All right, now they're all tinned. Okay. Now, that teacher is going to come by and pick up a radio, by the way. So we will be interrupted, and I will stop this video one more time. Just do that. All right, now let's just kind of spread them out. And put the Magoo goggles back on. Let's see what we can do here. Get our solder. And I still see some strands that did not twist up properly, so I'm going to have to touch those up. Okay. Actually, it's the last two that I did. I didn't do that very well. There we go. Perfect. Now we got all the wires done. Let's go ahead and see how we want to do this, okay? Here's our wires. Let's get our drone back. Make sure we got enough flux on here. And we're going to actually, I think, if I can do this properly, looking at the wiring diagram on the website, on the web page, we are going to go, uh, let's see. Let's plug our thing in here so we can get all the wires colored, matched up and everything. Okay, this is going to go, uh, we're going to go to the SCA right here, which will be pin 2. I'm going to tell you what, I don't know if I can trust this or not. Let's just go ahead and knock out, whoa, let's knock these out from top to bottom first. So on the top list, hey, my boys are back by the way, so we're going to pause this video. Alright, I'm back, I think we're going to have one more interruption, but while we're waiting, let's just go ahead. Get my eyes open here to see if this gentleman pulls up. 
So we're going to prep these. I've got everything in front of me that I need, so let me just go ahead and prep these up a little bit. I, I may switch to a thinner tip soldering iron, but we'll see. Okay, so the first the first wire that we're going to be working with here, let me see, no, let's see. First wire we're going to be working with is so we're going to be going to the SCL here. Let's go ahead and do that. So SCL. And on the board, that is our second pin. So let's do SDA first, that way we stay in order, which will be the blue one. So blue one will go to first pin, which is our SDA. So let's go ahead and do that. Grab my tweezers here. And let's just go right here. It's a little long, let me cut this wire down. Get my glasses out of here. There we go. Should be SDA right here. Okay, and then we will go CL, so we go over C, which will be the green wire right here. All right, and then third wire is going to be our five volt, which will be our green wire right here. I mean, our, sorry, a red wire. Oh, here he is. The gentleman's right here. Hold on one second. Okay, got that taken care of. Now we're back. All right, so we're going to do our 5 volt here. Okay, five volts in. And the next one will be our ground. We'll take our ground. And I am going to add a little bit more flux right here. And then try to get a little bit more solder on my ground because the pad looks very, now I can put the ground pretty much anywhere actually. So if it doesn't go well here, we'll put it anywhere else where we ground. Uh, let's go ahead and cut that. At our ground. Okay, ground is on. And then we have our DX and our RX. And so we're clear. This yellow is going to go to R, so let's take our white to T. And it is in that order, right? TX and R, yes sir. TX and RX, here we go. There we go. Go to our RX. Tin that wire just a little bit. More. And there we go. And by the looks of it, I think all that is on there. There is no bridging, at least none that I can see. So, with that said, I think the next thing to do will be to go ahead and just Turn this on and make sure nothing is shorted. There we go. So let's go ahead and get our here and let's see what happens. And there we go. Got our lighting. Everything looks good. Can't complain. And that's it. So now what we're going to do, we'll take this, turn it back over, and get our hot glue. And make sure we really secure the wires here, okay? Cannot afford for anything to happen to those. So we'll let that cool real quickly. And then, turn around and get the rest of this done. So this wiring will come over here. Yeah. Yes. What do you mean? Yes. What? Yes. 
Huh? Yes, he does, Sam. Please. Please. And thank you. Uh, huh. Okay, well, I love you. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get these wires arranged now. Make sure everything is in safely. Try to line everything back up. Get our LEDs in order. Screws pushed up first, so we can kind of at least get something locked in place. Okay, there's the other one. Perfect. Now let's just try to tighten them down. It was just temporary. There's one. Okay, now let's turn this around. Make sure the other side has the wiring in properly. And so what we want to do is take all the wiring, like the LEDs, everything else. We just kind of get it inside there. So we'll go ahead and plug this in. Hey, thanks, babe. You're welcome. Let me take this right now. That's it? So I can take this. I'm waiting on that actually. Oh. You're cold? I'm I'm sweating, I'm so hot. It's colder in here now. It was it was warm when I walked in. I think I have a cold. Babe. I think I have a cold. <laughs> do not have a cold. I, I do, I think I have a fever. But you're, okay, no, I'm not doing this with you today. I don't understand why you don't ever think I'm sick. Like I don't get the treatment like a sick person. <laughs> I get no, I get no, like, um... Because at some point when you're sick at least once a week, <laughs> it stops becoming real sick. Maybe sick. you're, maybe you're making, I'm telling you, you feel how hot I am? You're, you don't feel warm. I'm sweating, aren't I? You you're just touched my sweaty foot. Yeah, yeah, I'm dying here. Hey, um, Sam doesn't care that I'm sick. Come on, Sam. I Disrespect. Care. Disrespect, this exactly. Preach, brother, preach! Uh-uh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Gosh. Can't answer the phone right now, guys. I've got to finish soldering. I hope you all understand. No, no, no disrespect, but got to finish soldering. All right, so what I need to do now is I'm going to take off the old wiring, okay, which is right here, for the uh, GPS that was on here previously. store that with the other stuff that we've removed all right now now we are in good shape so what we're gonna do now is we'll go ahead and bring our regulator to here have no problem with that at all matter of fact we could just put it anywhere because there's so much room here I think I will do that actually let me go ahead and just take a double-sided tape cut a piece of that off okay Donnie, coming to help? See if you need to call the doctor? Because I'm not feeling well? I think we can put it just like that. We'll be just fine. Okay. Let's do that. Wires are good. Everything looks clean. No problem there. Matter of fact, if we go ahead, put a little bit of glue to this area, too. All right. And we will do the same here on the wires that we've added. Okay. 
I'm just gonna do it all. Okay. I'm glad you at least acknowledge that I may feel hot. I'm limiting any other any other excuses that way. I just feel like I'm 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 dying. <laughs> okay. And you're laughing, and everybody knows they can, can you hear feel you. That? Is that sympathy? Because I don't feel any sympathy. Can you feel the fan? Yes, I feel the fan. I think what it's doing is it's sucking this air into the fan and shooting it back out at you. Making you're making fun is what you're doing. <laughs> That's fine. It's all fun and games still. I like wake up in the ER. Keep laughing. I love you. Uh huh. I love you. Uh huh. You're not even talking to me. I, I can tell now. You're not talking to me. You're talking to the dog. No, I'm not. Yes, you the are. Here. The dogs are right near. I just saw them. I'm not talking to them. Liar. Samantha, I'm trying to work here. Are you feeling breezy? Ooh. This is going to be a tight fit. All right, so I have a feeling that this is going to have to go underneath to make it, but I hope we have enough. We should. Yes. it is. Try not to affect anything else. We'll just make it reach. Yo. What did he say? Uh, I think that's, he's asking, you must have put something away. There would be enough box in those bags. No, that's it. talking about what drone um i think a petrol 132 i mean yeah it would, it, it would end up being a video but no i mean they they have a manual they offer a manual on it okay so like on how to set it up yeah let me go check that then.
Would the setup be the same for a 4S and a 5S? The setup is the same. Okay. Yeah, the, the structures are the same. You got, you, got ask, you got ask Sam. Sam know what mouse at though. I don't know what them dare mouse do. That blue mouse? Yeah. yeah the I, mouse. I have no idea. What, you just told them it would be in the thing. You. In the bin. I feel you, dude. She see she's sending you on a she's sending. Come what do you call on, it? Bro. Sending you down the rabbit hole. Whatever that means. It's because you're the middle child. That's exactly right. We had this long talk, and look who's doing it now, huh? Oh, how the turntables have turned. <laughs> Oh, those turntables, Sam. I'm not finding anything about Emmanuel. Emmanuel? Who's that? Golly, that's crazy. And it was an overdose, huh? Mm -hmm. What they're saying? Yeah. Did you get a PayPal payment? From? I don't want to say the name. Okay, well, then I've received some. Uh, for $207. Not that I know of. Uh, not that I know of. I mean, no. I would normally remember that. Is it something you need to ship? Yeah, I don't know why he did it like this, so we're confused. Well, there's two guys that I wrote who were having a hard time checking out. Yes, that would be one of them with the win. Yeah, so yes. I just said send it to me and we'll create the invoice for him. I already, yeah, I already did that. I already created him a whole invoice. Well, okay, so you're just wanting to know if I got paid? Yes. Yeah, I understand. Oh, it's fine. I can wait. No worries. Is that fan helping you at all? I mean, it's just cooling down my fever. I love it. You love my fever? No, I love that it's like the dramatic zone. Obviously. You know what? You're just not very nice to people like me. I think that that's the problem. Is you think you're the nicest, but we know Who knows? the people that are sick. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm nice to people that are sick. Not to me. That's not true. I took care of you. No, you don't. I ordered you a sandwich. You didn't get me a sandwich. You ordered a sandwich. Yeah, and I, I ordered it with what? No, you didn't. You ordered it with a credit card. HLRC did it, but it irritates me. Come on, get in there, boy.
Really? Yeah, it makes me nervous too because... You didn't even notice when you picked up the box that it was light? I, he ordered a four pack, so I must have just grabbed them all. Oh. And just not seen it, not noticed it that way. But I'm missing it. You sure it's not that new series of invisible motors? <laughs> <laughs> so that the FAA can't see you flying? Wonder Woman. Tell him it's there, he's just got to look harder. It's got the invisibility book. That's it. Tell him that's a new upgrade. He got that for free. He's supposed to pay extra. All right, so we're almost done. The last thing we need... new camouflage motors. <laughs> That's it. New camo motors. That's exactly how you should say it. Say, hey, dog, you really want to return that? We want the whole box... I can't believe I missed an opportunity to be funny. I know. Oh, that so good. That would have been. But it wasn't. You screwed that up. So wait for your next time. I have a feeling there's going to be plenty more. All right, let's tighten this down now. fun. The only thing left to do now is to design the, um, the GPS mount, which I will go and do now. And then we will mount this GPS wherever I put it. Uh, where did I put my GPS? Let me put this back first. All right, let's put this here. Put these away. Let's clean up our desk a little bit. Since Sam doesn't do that anymore for us. Look at her, you hear her say, uh-uh, uh-uh, mm -hmm. I got that, uh-uh, not, not me, not me, man. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go chopping, I gotta go buy some tools, I gotta clean no shit. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our GPS and, you know, most likely, yeah, uh, just go something like that. That should give us just enough room. So we'll go off of this idea here. I just really don't like this at all. I'll put a spacer here because usually there's something else that's there, but the other stand was off. So then we'll come out like this. And while we'll keep this setting, I'm gonna go ahead and draw this up and just make it bigger for this one. So we'll be back with that. All right, so I'm back now and got done designing this piece here. Uh, I'm gonna see if I like how it fits. I think it's actually gonna work out pretty good. Let me just clean it up a little bit. Uh, and then I want to heat up a part of it just to make sure that these pieces stick pretty good. So let me get this, just go in here. Yeah, let's just get this heater going. I want to just see this kind of harden up just a little bit. 
Uh oh, wait. Here we go. When they make the <clears throat> mounting pads bigger or thicker, I mean, I'm not sure yet, but the idea is this should fit pretty nice right here, and it does. Um, I usually like to heat shrink these things in. I don't really trust just gluing them or double-sided tape. So what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm, gonna, I'm going to give myself a little bit of glue right here, okay? I'm going to mount this in just like that, and then I'm going to run a zip tie around it just to make sure it's solid, all right? So I don't know if I, one of these zip ties may be the right size. I don't know yet. We'll see. should be. Yep, that should hold it really well. I'll just put that on the side right there like that. Just a little extra, extra support. I'll just move it up just a little bit. All right, so we'll cut that off. There you go. And then we have about a two millimeter gap uh, from the old mill. So let me see, I think maybe a two mil might work. So let me put that in here. Let me see. I think that looks pretty decent actually. We'll put one two mil there. Put another one right here. All right, now let's go ahead and plug this in. Just like that. Oops, maybe like this. My apologies. Yep, just like that. There we go. And actually, I'm going to take a one mil because I don't want to crank into the TPU because that can usually weaken it. So I'm going to put the washer on top. I'm going to put this, I'm going to put this on here so I can just drive this in. And then let's see what we end up with because I think this is going to come out pretty good. There we go. came out nice. Definitely fit well. I think it's going to be a great fit actually. Let me just loosen this up because I didn't put the other one on yet and I want to make sure that these fit straight. I'd say this overall thing came out pretty nice. You know, I mean it looks good. Uh, we'll be testing it here in just a second, but I mean overall I'm pretty impressed with that. So let's just get this lined up with the washer. Just a little bit. There we go. And this is going to tighten down nicely. Just like that. Give it just enough angle to not get in the battery way. Enough up there. And I'll tell you what, I think this is great. I think that's going to work well. So we've got our um, GPS, got our DJI unit, got our camera mounted. I was gonna check the tension on that camera cable and uh, I don't think it's too bad actually, let me see. No, we got some play there, so that's not gonna be a problem. So that looks like it is a done job. Now let me clean up the desk and I'll show you guys what we're left with. I'm pretty excited about that, man. I think that came out real nice. Given what we were working with and the fact that uh, we have to make a couple of those parts. Now we throw that book out. Let's save the customer's old parts. He's going to get those back. Uh, and I'll put that in this back here, along with his other stuff. There we go. All right, let's move this out of the way. Move that. Clean up this table a little bit is one of the things that really gets me is I get so caught up in the work and I forget to clean up. Next thing you know, I come back to a table that is beyond the normal and I hate it. So I'm trying to make an effort 
to clean up ahead of time. And so far it's been going pretty good. Can't complain. I don't know where my wife put the rest of that frame that we got those parts from, but it'll sit there. Okay. All right. So let's uh, let's fire it up. Let's make sure that we can. Uh, I'll get my DJI controller. So hold on a second. Where's my bag? Here it is. Got my goggles. I do want to thank my very good friend Julio for making me this protector right here for my DJI goggles. I love it. Thank you, bud. Appreciate that very much. It's very kind of you, and you're extremely generous. Holy crap, I just realized it has SD card holders. Dude, this is legit. I happen to have an SD card sitting right here. I cannot wait to see that's where this is. I assume that's what these are. Holy crap. That's legit, man. Thank you so much, Julio, for that. Very kind. I tell you what, guys, it's not often. I guess these are for antennas. I mean, like, that's really legit. I can't take mine off, but still, thanks a lot for being very thoughtful. No, I don't know. I forgot track of what I was doing. I was trying to actually get this to work. So we're going to go ahead and prepare to bind this. Got my smoke, smoke stopper plugged in. Let's go ahead and we will bind the drone first. I mean, we'll bind the goggles. So let me go ahead and get that ready. And to do that, look, we've got our GPS lit up. This is great. This is going to be great, great quality. Push that for... Oh, wait, it's not ready yet. Oh, crap, i got to plug my goggles in. Haven't done that yet, either. That's the problem. I don't even think I have a battery. And I tell you what, I thought I was prepared. It doesn't look like I am. Ah, crap, crap, crap. Uh, don't I have a goggle battery somewhere in this darn place? Oh, but I'll take this. Oh, no, that's the wrong... Uh. Great. Now I gotta find me something. So hold on. Let me see what I got. Oop, I got a 4S right here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's go ahead and plug in my goggles. Okay. I'm gonna bind it to this. Then we'll bind the transmitter. We'll make sure everything works. Plug in Betaflight, configure it all. And we should be golden after this. Okay, let's go to binding. So let's start the air unit first. Push the button. All right, I don't have an angle here to get this on here. Let's do it here. There we go. Okay, and I have a great video. Perfect on that. Now let's go ahead and turn the transmitter on. Shoot, I forgot, he's not running SBUS. Well, no matter, uh, I will still make sure it binds. So let's... Okay, that's bound, we're done. So we have all that, so that's working perfect. Now. Uh, we've got our picture. We've got everything. So yes, everything's great. I'm gonna go ahead and power this off. Forgot we're not using S bus, right? He's using his uh, what you call it, um, TBS. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect my goggles. All right, I went ahead and did a few touch-up things here, and uh, now we're gonna test out. Let's go ahead and plug into Beta Flight, and we are going to test out uh, our compass, or I'm sorry, our GPS, and make sure that everything else is functioning fine. So we go ahead and share that screen real quick. There we go. Let's go ahead and log in, connect, and we can reset, calibrate. And then let's go ahead and give ourselves some power. There we go. And there's our GPS. And look how quickly this thing, look at that. Now it's finally humming along really well. So that's good news right there. Uh, settings for the GPS, I did move it uh, to UART 3. I think UART 2 is having an issue there, which is it's causing me a little bit of a problem. Um, I did go and leave everything on auto detect, auto config, and U blocks over here. And it does look like we're getting our uh, pretty good signal strengths from inside the building, so this, this, this part's good. Uh, for motors wise, I think we've already spun these, but we'll go ahead and do it again. So motor 1 should spin clockwise, and it does. Motor 2 is counter, motor 3 is counter, 
from motor four is clockwise. Okay, now I'm going to disconnect from here and I'm going to open VL Heli just to make sure that we've got our updates on here done. Now, once we've got that, this thing is perfect and ready to go. I will plug the DJI air unit in and make sure it's got all the uh, updates as well. But let's see what we've got going on here. Let's see, one, two, three, four, 32 more seconds. So we're going to go ahead and do an ESC flash on all of these. And so let's, oops, let's go ahead. My, uh, flash like the ECs. I'm going to go to 32.8. Okay. After that, the setup's done. This thing is ready to go. I'm very excited. I think it came out great. A uh, customer will have to, like I said, uh, I guess I could import maybe some of his stick commands or something. Uh, not stick commands, but his stick settings. But uh, I think I'll just have him do that part. Uh, make it more, you know, specific to what he needs. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just tighten these down and make sure these are set. Uh, let me do that on this side. Oops. Okay, so I don't have a screw on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Flashing where we got one more ESC, I think, and that's it. All right, so our EDCs are done. Uh, let me go ahead and just put this last screw in. There we go. Okay, so that's done. The ESCs are done. We can go back to the ESC setup, make sure that we remove the um, Auto calibration and then click right setup. Okay, now we can disconnect. Wait for the tones. Power off. Unplug. Plug back in. We'll verify our OSD one more time, make sure it's working fine. This is going to work out perfect. Just go ahead and give me a beta fly. Just make sure everything's registering. It is. GPS is over. Oh, yeah. Yep. We've got our OSD now. we got everything. The sucker is ready to go. I'm extremely excited about this. Look at that. we got our 3D fix. This is great, guys. I mean, this is really great. Really excited about this. Good work on uh, beta flight side, too. I really do like the way they're uh, their uh, GPS system is coming together pretty well. Let's go to setup here, reset, calibrate motors, and let's go ahead and make sure one clockwise, two counter, three counter, four clockwise, setup, uh, up, down, there we go, and that's it. So there you go. So 
after it's all said and done, go ahead and disconnect this. Let me show you what we got. There we go. Uh, that's it. Everything came out great. I'm really excited about this build. Um, let me go ahead. I'm holding it for you guys. You can't see it because I have to turn the camera. So there it is. Converted a Sector 5 V3 that was a little bit of damage. Uh, made the new stand for the uh, M80 Pro uh, GPS. Installed the air unit. I'm about to flash that. Um, outside of that, put it, wired it. Uh, installed the, got the camera going and um, got the two antennas in the back. And that's pretty much it. This sucker's done. All right, guys. Uh, it was a little bit longer of a build than I expected. Uh, there were a couple problems we ran into, but overall, turned out pretty good. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this or if you need any work done on your stuff, please, as always, find us on our YouTube, sorry, on our Facebook page, on our group section right there. I think it's just time. I think it's time to go to bed after this long, long work. Um, and uh, as always, please, as I ask, please, 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 please subscribe and let others know about us. I mean, uh, I, you know, Sam and I work really hard here, and uh, we can always use the support. So if you'll just subscribe and let us know what you need. I'm more than happy to help you. Other than that, guys, I will say shout-out to my boys. I miss y'all. I love y'all very much. And I cannot wait to see you at your football game tomorrow. And to everybody else, God bless. Be safe. And go spend time with your family. Guys, you never know how much time you have left. So go make the most of it, okay? You can always fly later. We'll talk to you soon, guys. God bless and peace. See ya. Bye.